we need <laughs> for our practice today. We got my water with it. Having whatever we need for our practice today. We need our blocks, a strap, a, um, a pillow, whatever you need for it to make your practice work for you. But we're sitting in our chair. We're just sitting in the center of our chair, sitting ourselves up nice and tall. Trying to be away from the back of the chair so that we're engaging our core. And let's begin by rolling those shoulders back. So let's go ahead and roll this out. So rolling those shoulders back. And you can roll those shoulders. I know I start off really fast. You can roll your shoulder as slow and as controlled as feels good for you. That it's whatever works for you, whatever is working for you in the practice today. And you may need to be going very slow or you're like, go fast. And then let's go ahead and roll those shoulders the other way, going the opposite direction of what you were just doing. So rolling that the other way. And we're starting off with our warm, we're starting from the top down. So starting off with that very upper body, our head and our shoulders and our neck. Good. And let's go ahead and relax those shoulders, relax those arms. Let's drop our chin down towards our chest. And maybe your feet, while we're doing this chin to chest, maybe your feet are kind of gripping to the floor or flattening into the floor. Just recognizing the floor beneath you or your mat beneath you or carpet, whatever you've got underneath you. And lifting that head to center and taking your eyes to sky. Lengthening through the front of that neck. Good, let's go ahead and drop that chin back to chest. Chin back to chest. And then eyes to sky again. And chin to chest. And eyes to sky. And chin to chest. And eyes to sky. Good, head back to neutral. Let's look towards the right. So think about chin, the chin going over towards that right shoulder. Keeping our shoulder back, keeping our chest open. So we're not bringing shoulder to forward, we're bringing our chin back. So we get good stretching in that neck. And then let's look to the left. So same thing, chin is gonna go to that left shoulder. Keeping the shoulder open, open back, chest open. Good, bring it back to center. Let's look to the right again. And then look to the left again. Good, head back to neutral. Drop our right ear towards our right shoulder. Let's go ahead and take that right hand, just place it right above that left ear and maybe releasing that left arm. So we get a little bit of, this is just gentle pressure and a little bit of lengthening. Good, and then go ahead and release that, lift that head center, drop our left ear towards our left shoulder. And then maybe that left hand goes above that right ear and releasing that right arm. A little bit of just gentle pressure. Release that arm, very nice. Good, R release that, bring that head back to center. Drop our chin to chest again. Lift our eyes to sky again. And then head to neutral. Let's do some neck circles here. So let's drop our chin to chest. Right ear to right shoulder chin to chest, and left ear to left shoulder. And just rolling this from side to side. Still sitting up tall. It can be really easy here to start to uh, like slouch, but try and sit up super tall and you'll feel even more lengthening up through that neck, through that spine. We're just taking that from side to side and draw that chin to chest. Lift that head up center. Let's roll those shoulders back and roll that forward. And now let's add in our breath. So we'll do a few sun breaths here. Let's inhale and sweep this up and exhale it out. Good, inhale and sweep this up and exhale it out. Inhale and sweep this up. 
and exhale it out. Inhale and sweep this up. As we exhale, we're just going to rotate to the right. And you can take that hand just behind you. It's just a little bit rotation. It's just a tiny one. Inhale to the center and a little bit rotation to the left. Back to center, little rotation to the right. Back to center, a little rotation to the left. Back to center, good. As we exhale, let's go ahead and either hold the back of our chair or clasp our hands behind us and open up the chest, stretching through our shoulders and our arms. So sitting ourselves up tall, and we're either holding the back of the chair or we've got those hands clasped. Good, let's go ahead and look to the right. Look to the left. Head back to center, drop our chin to chest. Lift that head center, eyes to sky. Bring that back to neutral. We can release our arms. Go ahead and shake that out, release that out. Inhale and sweep this up and exhale that out. Nice, inhale and sweep this up. Let's drop our right hand down to the right side of the chair and reach this over. So just a nice leaning right here, leaning this over, keeping both of our glutes down, keeping both of our feet down. And maybe a little bit of rotation in that chest and in that torso. Good, let's inhale and sweep this up. Let's exhale and drop our left hand to the left side of the chair and just a little bit of lean on this side, keeping both of our glutes down, both of our feet down. Good, and I'm gripping my feet. We're kind of marching them a little bit. You can do that movement, whatever feels best for you. Maybe, and again, a little rotation of the torso. Let's inhale and sweep this up. As we exhale, let's clasp our hands behind us again or reach for the back of the chair. Whatever is available for your um, shoulders and chest, your, your mobility today. So listening to that body as well. Let's drop that chin to chest. And then eyes to sky. And head back to center. Look to the left. And look to the right and back to center and release those arms. Shake that out, good. Inhale and sweep this up and exhale it out. Inhale and sweep. Let's clasp our hands to the top and exhale, press our palms towards the ceiling. And now we're making our body even taller. So lengthening up through our arms, lengthening up through that torso, through that rib cage. And let's do a few side breaths here to get those lungs expanded even more. So let's inhale it deeply. And exhale, sigh out. Good, two more times. Inhale deeply. And exhale, big sigh out. Nice, one more time. Inhale it deeply. And exhale, big sigh out. Good, bring our arms out in front of us. Stop hands, rotate our wrists. And then rotate the other way. Very nice, point our fingers down, point those fingers up, point those fingers down, point those fingers up. Take our arms out to the side, out to our peripheral, so we see them out of the sides of our eyes. Palms up, make some fists, roll our knuckles in, still sitting it up tall, exaggerated bicep curl. Let's do a little bit of seated cat and cow here. So let's go ahead and open this up, arching that back, chest is open, and then we're gonna go ahead and round this. Chin to chest, inhale and open, exhale and round. Inhale and open, exhale and round. Inhale and open, exhale and round. Inhale and open, and exhale and round. Good, back to neutral, back to a lengthened spine. Open our arms up, take our palms down, but we're not gonna release our arms yet and do a little bit of fluttering right here. A little bit of arm fluttering and then circle our arms forward. So circling this, ooh, feel those shoulders warming up or on fire already <laughs> and circle it backwards. Good, circling that back, very nice. And then let's go ahead and release that, shake that out. Take our right arm across, and you're either gonna have your hand on your forearm or on your tricep, but not on your elbow joint. 
And we're just going to gently pull that towards us. Get a little bit more of an arm and shoulder stretch, tricep right here. Good, and let's switch sides. Same thing, hand is either on the forearm or the tricep, but not on that elbow joint or that wrist joint. So we're gently pulling that across, stretching through the shoulder. Good, let's open this up. Give ourselves a nice big hug, right arm over left. So let's hug, reach our fingers for our spine. Inhale it here and exhale it out. Good, open this up, switch those arms. Left arm on top and big hug here. Inhale it deeply and exhale it out. Good, open this up and release those arms. Very nice, shake that out, roll that out. Reach our arms up, inhale. We're gonna leave our arms up right here. You can exhale, but those arms stay lifted and we're gonna take our legs over to the right. So legs are gonna come over to the right side of the chair. Let's take our hands and we're going to reach for the top of our chair, back of our chair, and do a, a spinal twist here. Yeah, using the leverage of holding the back of the chair to twist as deep as feels good for you in this spinal twist. I love this one, one of my favorites. Let's do some deep breathing here. Inhale it and exhale it out. And again, big deep inhale and exhale it out. One more time, big deep inhale here and exhale it out. Good, reach those arms up, take our legs back to center. Let's move our legs over to the other side. Take our hands to the top of that chair and a twist here, big twist or twisting as as deeply as feels good for you using that leverage. And we're gonna do three big breaths here. Inhale it deeply and exhale it out. And big deep inhale and exhale it out. And one more time, big deep inhale and exhale it out. So let's reach back up through those arms, take ourselves back to center. We can release our arms down. Go ahead and place your blocks where you want them for our seated sun salutations because that's where we are going next. And if you need a um, blanket or pillow between your thighs and belly as we do this forward fold, then go ahead and grab that. We're sitting ourselves up tall. We're at the center or the front edge of our chair. And let's go ahead and inhale and sweep our arms up. And we've got this dive down and over in a seated forward fold. And relax this here. Hands can be on those blocks. Or if you want to let them dangle on the floor for a few moments, you can do that. I'm going to put mine on the blocks. And then let's go ahead and inhale and lengthen through our arms, lengthen through our spine. And then exhale and release. Inhale and sweep those arms up nice and big. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Let's hold this here. So nice long spine, nice long arms. Let's press our right hand into that block, right block, and let's twist open to the side. So spinal twist, seated spinal twist here with that lengthened arm, rotating open, breathing this here. Very good. And you might find your mobility or flexibility, it might be um, big or little, just depending on you, depending on the day, depending on what's going on in your life. Just listening to that body today. And then release that and relax. Good. Inhale and lengthen, nice lengthened spine. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Let's hold this here. We're going to do the other side. So take our left hand into that left block and right arm opens. Spinal twisting to that right side. And breathe. Breathe it deeply. Breathe it big here.
and then release and relax. Good, inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Let's do all of that one more time on each side. Let's inhale and lengthen. Hold this here. Press our right hand into block. Let's lift open that left side. Ooh, that feels good in the spine today. It's interesting how um, these moves, even though we do the same moves, you feel it in different places on different at different days, different times, different seasons. Good. Go ahead and release that and relax. Very nice. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Let's hold this here. Again, press our left hand into block. Open with the right. Spinal twist. Breathe it here. Breathe deep. Breathe big. And then release and relax. Very nice. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, long spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's hold this here and sit ourselves up even taller. I'm kind of scooting a little bit more, even more forward for our seated spinal twist. So let's inhale up deep. As we exhale, let's go ahead and get that spinal twist in right here, seated spinal twist with those hands together. We're taking that right tricep, right elbow to our left thigh, twisting this here and breathing. This feels really good today. Let's bring this back to center. Inhale and sweep this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. Sitting ourselves up tall. And let's do spinal twists on the other side. So up super tall. Let's inhale it here. Exhale, hinge and twist. So that left elbow tricep is trying to get over to that right thigh. Pressing those hands together, breathing in this spinal twist. Good. And bring that back to center. Inhale and sweep this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. Inhale and lift. And let's release our arms to our sides. Very nice. All right. Now it's time for that lower body. So time for our legs and our core, our core even more. We've been subliminally, subconsciously working our core this whole time because we've been away from back of the chair. So taking our legs up, you can go single leg or double leg, but we're flexing through those feet, reaching up through our arms. We've got our staff pose here. Let's go three breaths. Inhale it deeply and exhale it out. And big deep inhale and exhale it out. And one more time, big deep inhale and exhale it out. Good. Release our arms and we're gonna, we're gonna do hamstring curl, leg extension. So keep our feet super duper flexed, curl this in and extend. There's eight, curl this in and extend. There's seven, curl this in and extend. There's six, curl this in and extend. There's five, curl this in and extend. There's four, curl this in, keep those feet flexed and extend. There's three. Curl this in and extend. There's two, curl this in. We're gonna hold this next, next extension, hold it. Point our toes, flex our feet. Point our toes, flex our feet. Point our toes, flex our feet. 
point our toes and flex our feet. Good. Release our left leg. Scoot it forward even more if that's available to you. And we've got a single leg boat. So we're trying not to sit up against the back of the chair yet. We've got that leg lifted. So now we're fully engaging that core, especially those low abs. We've got that hip flexor. Maybe that's a little bit on fire. Maybe your quad's on fire. My opposing, my opposite ab is a little bit on fire. Holding that, breathe it here. Inhale it deep and exhale it out. One more time, inhale it deep and exhale it out. Good, let's take our right ankle, place it on that left thigh. And maybe you're able to hinge. I'm not today. I, that was very surprising. I was like, oh, nope super tight. So finding where you might be able to hinge today, right here, you can round your um, spine here at this point. Once we get to the back of the chair, we're going to keep our spine nice and straight and focus a little bit more on that front hinge. But when we're doing this big hinge right here, we're also getting the bottom of that. We're getting the glute, the glute medius and the glute max and that outer hip and that hip flexor but just finding that, and maybe just even bringing the foot, the ankle to the thigh was enough. And you're like, this is where I'm at right now. And that is a-okay. All right, now we're going to scoot ourselves back. You try and scoot yourself back with that leg still up on that thigh. You can scoot yourself against the chair now, against the back of the chair, because we're gonna use that back to lengthen our spine up nice and tall. You can use the support of that. And now we're going to keep our chest open as we hinge ourselves forward. We're going to add in that breath. So let's inhale it deeply here. And exhale, hinge this forward. Try and lead with that chest. Try and keep our shoulder blades back. Ooh, yeah, feeling that. And let's inhale it up tall. And exhale, hinge. Inhale it up tall. And exhale, hinge. And inhale it up tall. And exhale, hinge. Very good. And then we can go ahead and release that. Now we're gonna release that leg and we're just going to bring our leg in and give it a nice big hug. So you know how when we lay down on the ground and we pull our leg in to give it a hug, we get to sit up in the chair and do the same thing. So we're pulling that in. Let's go ahead and wrap that left arm around that right leg and let's twist this to the right and breathe it here. And then let's go ahead and twist this over to the other side. So twisting that to the left. Good, bring this back to center and now let's go into half shoelace. So that means we're gonna cross the leg over. So taking our right heel to the left corner of the chair, crossing that leg over. Let's wrap that left arm around again. Ooh. And now we get more of that IT band, more of that hamstring, more hip, outer hip, and breathe. Good, and then let's go ahead and turn this to the other side. Very nice, and bring this back to center. Let's do that piriformis one more time. So that just means that we're gonna bring that foot right back onto that thigh, and we're gonna hinge this forward. Just a little bit more, one more time. Ooh. Good, and then release that. Very nice, let's shake that out. And we'll take it to the other side. So that means we're gonna take ourselves back into our staff pose, taking our backs away from the back of the chair, lengthening up through our legs again, flexing through our feet, reaching up through our arms, finding that staff pose. Let's breathe it here, inhale it deeply, and exhale it out. And big deep inhale. And exhale it out. One more time. Big deep inhale. 
and exhale it out. Good. Let's release those arms, keep our feet flexed, and let's hamstring curl it in and extend it out. There's eight. Curl it in and extend. There's seven. Curl it in and extend. There's six. Curl this in and extend. There's five. Curl this in and extend. There's four. Curl this in and extend. There's three. Curl this in and extend. There's two. Curl this in. And we're going to hold this extension. Good. Point those toes. Flex those feet. Point those toes. Flex those feet. Point those toes. Flex those feet. Point those toes and flex those feet. Good. Release our right leg. Scoot ourselves forward. Lean it back. We've got that boat pose here on the other side. So let's breathe it here. Inhale it deeply and exhale it out and big deep inhale and exhale it out. Very nice. And let's go ahead and take that ankle to that thigh. Ah, and you can be doing that nice figure four stretch here and rounding that spine for this first part. This is, this is just the acclimation one. This is just the, okay, okay. Now we've got that figure four going on and then we'll add in that length and spine in just a moment. Good, good. All right, let's scoot ourselves back, taking ourselves all the way to the back of the chair, sitting ourselves up tall. And we're going to keep that chest open. Let's inhale it deeply here and exhale hinges forward. And inhale it up tall and exhale and hinge. Inhale it up tall and exhale and hinge. And inhale this up nice and tall. And exhale and hinge. Good. Oh, maybe hold that hinge a little bit here, keeping our chest open. Very nice. Good. And then let's release that. And let's go ahead and bring our leg in and give that leg a nice big hug. So hugging that into the chest, maybe rocking that. <laughs> rocking can help if you're in pain. Let's wrap that right arm around that leg and let's twist that, twisting it to the left and breathe. And let's twist it to the right, twisting that to the right. And bring that back to center. Good. Now let's go into that half shoelace. So let's cross the leg over. Left heel is going to go to the right corner of the chair. Let's wrap that right arm around again. And again, now we're getting that IT band and a little bit more of that outer hip and glute. And twisting that. Breathe. Good, and then twist it to the other side. And bring that back to center. Let's do that piriformis one more time. So just that figure four, and you can be hinging right here. Just find that hinge, oh, maybe that tall hinge. Good job. And then we're gonna move into our supported crescent. Good, so let's go ahead and release that leg, shake that out, scoot ourselves over even more to the left side of the chair. Our right leg is gonna be given the left side of the chair. Let's take our left leg behind us and we'll go into that supported crescent pose. So left leg is back there, heel is lifted, right leg is in front of us. We've got the chair supporting us right here. And let's reach this up. And maybe, maybe if you've got enough support or enough balance going on, maybe you're working a little bit on a back bend, or maybe just it's just enough to have it in that um, that crescent, supported crescent, especially if you've got the tight hip, both hips actually, but if you've got that tight hip, hip flexor, tight abs, then 
maybe that is enough for you today. Let's go ahead and drop that right hand down to the right side of the chair and let's lean this over or reach this over. So reaching that left arm over, trying to press that left heel, keep it lifted, but pressing that the toes into the floor. That's what I'm getting. Pressing the toes into the floor, keeping our left heel lifted so that you get a nice long left leg and get a calf stretch here. And then let's go ahead and kind of windmill our hands to the hips or to the thigh and get a little bit of a twist here. A little bit of a rotation. Maybe you're able to look back at that heel or that calf and breathe. Good, and bring that back to center, very nice. Let's give the right leg the seat of the chair so that we can take that left leg off to the side. And now we've got more of a center stretch. So let's lengthen up through the center here. So lifting up through this. And let's take that right hand down again. So right hand goes down to the seat of the chair again and reach over her. Ooh, and now we get more of a lateral stretch. So more of a side stretch. The other one with the crescent was kind of more of a front of the hip stretch, and now this is more of a lateral stretch. Off to the side and breathe. Good, let's windmill this left arm to that left thigh, reach that right arm over. And then we're going to go into pigeon and get more of that hip. So we're going to turn that, giving that leg the seat of the chair even more. Back leg, heel is lifted just like we were in our crescent. Let's go ahead and reach up through this. Maybe you get a little bit of a back bend right here as well. Lifting up through this, that front leg is fully supported. And let's go ahead and go into a forward fold. So you're either on those hands, on those elbows, or folding all the way forward. I like to use a block today. I'm going to have the block tall. Sometimes I have it half, but my hip is super tight today. So I'm gonna keep it tall. And that means I'm gonna keep it tall on both sides so that I stay balanced. So that I'm not over stretching or over strengthening one side over the other. Breathing this here. Good, let's lengthen back up through this, reach back up through those arms, just lifting that torso back up. That was, that's good back strengthening right there, back and abdominal strengthening. Good, let's release those arms. We're gonna take our right leg off to the side and we're gonna go into some warriors, supported warriors. So we're using that chair for support. Right leg is bent, left leg is nice and straight. Finding our warrior two legs, so our strong, proud warrior legs right here. And I love using the, the chair for this because if you're ever working on your ankle mobility to get your feet better when you're doing your um, warriors without the chair, this is a great way to do it because we're so supported here. If you wanna work on that ankle mobility and trying to get that foot in a little bit more, you can work on that here because you don't have all of your weight press into that foot. So you can work a little bit on that ankle flexibility and mobility. Let's relax that face. Everything is strong here. Let's drop our back arm, take our palm up and peaceful warrior or reverse warrior right here and breathe. Good, from here, we're gonna take it into side angle pose. So that means that arm is gonna be just gently resting on the thigh. Other arm shoots right over, bicep is right by that temple or that ear. And we've got a nice lengthened, strong pose here. Kind of like a lunge, breathe. Good, and bring this back up. 
lengthen back through that. Nice, strong, proud warrior. Good, and then release that. Very nice. All right, let's scoot ourselves over to the right side. So we're taking our left leg to the right side of the chair, taking our right leg behind us. So we're gonna go into that supported crescent on the other side. Ooh, that feels good. Feels good for that back leg. Oh, let that extend. And let's reach up through those arms. Maybe you're working a little bit on that back bend here. So extending through that back leg. Left leg is front, right leg is back behind us. Good. Let's go ahead and take that left hand, drop that down to the left side of the chair, reach this over and get that really good left side stretch and breathe. And let's windmill both of those arms. We can go to your waist or your hips, or one can go to the thigh. Let's go to that back hip. And maybe you're looking to the side or looking back behind you. Again, I'm trying to work on the mobility of my neck because I can turn, when I go to the other side, I have much more mobility. So I'm like, huh, I need to work on my mobility of my spine and my neck on this side. Trying to get it the same spot, breathing that. Good, let's bring this back to center. Go ahead and take that left leg, give that the chair. Right leg comes off to the side. Let's lengthen up through the center right here. Good. And again, well, when we get to those warriors, if I didn't say it on the other side because this is the side that always cramps for me. If you have a side that cramps for you, that can be very normal. Just kind of work through it, find, find the placement that works for you. Let's go ahead and drop that left hand to the left side of the chair again and reach this over. So now we've got that lateral stretch, lateral stretching right here, lengthening from our fingers down to our feet. Toes, heels, breathe. And then let's go ahead and windmill this and reach this over other side. That feels good too. Nice lengthening here and breathe. And then release that. Good. Let's turn this. Give our leg, our front leg, that whole chair. Take our back leg behind us. We've got this nice supported pigeon. Reach up through those arms and maybe a little bit of back bend here. This side is feeling a little stiffer than the other side. So I'm not getting much of a back bend. But lengthening up through this and let's find that forward fold. So wherever you are folded on the other side, try and make that your goal for this side as well so that you have that, you get that good balance. That good same amount of stretch on both sides of the body, same amount of strengthening on both sides of the body. And breathe, inhaling and exhaling, trying not to let that back leg fall asleep. Trying to keep that back leg active as well. Breathe it here, inhale, exhale. Good. Let's lift this back up, reach back up through this, reach up through that. Very nice. And then let's release that. Let's go into our warriors on this side. So taking that leg off to the side. And same thing, if you're working on that ankle mobility or flexibility, you can take advantage of using this chair because we've got this nice and supported. So you might even be able to move that foot in even more than you would when you've got your um, full weight on your feet. So let's lengthen through those arms. We've got nice strong legs, strong torso, strong abdominal, strong chest, strong arms, strong neck, but face is relaxed. Breathing it here. Good, let's drop that back arm, take our palm up, peaceful warrior, reach up through this. 
Lengthen and reach and breathe. From this peaceful warrior, let's take it into our side angle pose. So arm is gonna go right to that thigh. Other arm is gonna come up and over. And breathe. And bring ourselves back up, nice and strong. Relax that face, relax that jaw. Good, and then release that. Let's scoot ourselves forward. We got wide legs. Let's take those blocks to the inside of our feet. Let's go ahead and take our right hand to our right block, and let's do our wide-legged spinal twist with that opener right here, that um, spinal opener. Ooh, that feels good. Breathe it here. And let's inhale and sweep the center. Let's drop our left hand to that block and opening. Breathe it here. And inhale it up. And then release that. Good. Let's get those legs together, scooting ourselves forward. Let's take our blocks and we're going to take our legs up off of the chair, our glutes, our legs, our glutes up off the chair. Let's do a seated forward fold first, though. Let's inhale and sweep this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. And you can place those blocks where they are comfortable for you, pressing our feet into the floor. Let's lift our glutes up off the chair into our first standing forward fold of the practice. So we are lengthening through the backs of our legs. That feels good through those calves, through those hamstrings, through those glutes. Let's inhale, nice flat back, look it forward. And then exhale, take a seat back in the chair. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Feet are pressed into the floor. Lift those glutes up off of the chair and seat of the chair. Inhale, nice flat back and look forward here. Exhale and release. Take a seat in the chair. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Feet pressed into the floor. Let's lift our glutes up off of the chair. Nice standing forward fold. Inhale, lengthen through that spine. Exhale and release. Take a seat in that chair. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Press our feet into the floor. Lift our glutes up off the chair. Nice standing forward fold. Inhale, lengthen through that spine. We're going to keep this here. So we're not going to take a seat in that chair again. And then relax that head and neck. Inhale and lengthen through that spine. Exhale and release. Let's take it all the way up. Nice and slow. Inhale and sweep this up. And exhale, cactus our arms back. So imagining that our shoulder blades can touch. Inhale and lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, flat back. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, cactus those arms. Inhale and lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, flat back. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, cactus those arms. And then inhale and lift. And then let's go ahead and release our arms down to our sides. Very good. Let's turn that chair around. And let's go into a modified downward facing dog. Let's get a little bit of chest and shoulder stretch here. So hands are to the back of the chair. Let's walk our feet away from us so that we make ourselves into a nice table. So we are flattening through our spine. Nice table here. Allow that head and chest, or allow the head to kind of drop in between those arms. Oh, and as you do that, maybe you, your legs can straighten, maybe your hamstrings and calves are super tight and you need to bend those knees. You might even need to, I am finding, I need to walk my feet forward a little bit more. 
There we go. So that I can get a nice long spine here. Allow my chest to stretch. Allow my head to sink between my arms, between those shoulders. And you get this incredible shoulder stretch, armpit stretch. So this is very similar to what we do in downward facing dog. This is even, for me, this is even better because I'm not as flexible in my normal downward facing dog as I am in this position right here. So this gets me even more of a stretch. So I like doing this sometimes. Good, very nice. Inhale it one more time. And then exhale and release. Good, let's go ahead and bring this up and bring this forward. Let's take it into dancer and then we'll go into um, a seated like piriformis stretch or a one-legged seated pose. So let's go ahead and take our right hand and reach our right hand for our right foot. And you feel free to use the support of the chair. So we're holding on to that foot. We've got this dancer pose right here. Now this may be enough for you today, or you may begin to want to hinge this forward. Our, night, our left leg is nice and straight or just strong. It's strong, it's strong and pressed into the floor. And as we begin to hinge this forward, if that's what you're doing today, maybe beginning to kick that right foot back into that right hand to open up the space to make that circle with your hand holding your foot, making that circle right there, lengthening even more through the front of that leg, through that hamstring. Very good, breathing in here. Oh yeah. And then slowly let's begin to hinge this forward and we're going to bring our leg around. So bringing our leg around to that piriformis like we just did when we were sitting in the chair. So bringing that around to that thigh. Good, and we can hold that here. You can hold with both hands or one hand or you can practice with no hands. I'm gonna hold on today and breathe, breathe into this. Inhaling and exhaling. Good, one more pose. Now we're gonna take our leg, keep it lifted if you can, keep holding to the back of that chair and let's take this into a warrior three. And we can just, you can either have your hands holding onto the back of the chair or if you need that support, you can let your, your belly, your abs, be at the top of that chair. So we've got this ooh, warrior three. I don't know about you, but both glutes are burning and that standing leg hamstring is a little bit burning. And then let's go ahead and release this into that nice standing pose. Walk this away from the chair. Let's inhale and sweep this up. Dive it down and over, standing forward fold and let that relax. Good. Stop the burning in the legs. That nice forward fold does that. And then let's go ahead and roll this up one vertebrae at a time. Roll our shoulders back. Good, take it back to the chair. Let's take everything that we just did, let's do it on the other side. So let's take our left hand, reach our left hand for our left foot, finding our dancer. And this may be your dancer for the rest of the time. Otherwise, you're gonna begin to work on hinging this forward, getting that nice standing strong leg. And as you are hinging, maybe kicking that left foot back into that left hand and making that circle right there. Pull oh. and breathe. Very nice. And then let's go ahead and begin to bring this back up, hinging this back up, and take this leg around into that piriformis or single-legged seated pose right here. And working on maybe one hand, both hands, or holding the chair. Just depends, it depends on your mobility, flexibility, what's going on with your balance today. Every day is different, listening to that body and breathing. Good, and then before we put that leg down, let's take that leg back behind us. Let's shoot that leg back. 
into a warrior three. Oh, yeah, that standing leg super on fire for me. And my calf on this leg, not so much on the other. The other leg was like glute and hamstring. This is like glute, hamstring, and calf on this side. Breathe it here. And then let's go ahead and stand that and release that. Walk that away. Inhale and sweep this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Standing forward fold. Oh, love that. This is like your kind of, it's like your downward facing dog. Your standing forward fold is also kind of like the regrouping, especially when you can let your arms dangle. And let's go ahead and roll this up one vertebrae at a time. Roll our shoulders back. Let's turn that chair around. We're gonna go into our shoulder stand, our, our um, supported shoulder stand, and then we'll move into final relaxation. So grabbing whatever you need for down on the floor, you'll need a block or stiff pillows, and then if you, whatever you use for final relaxation. So grab those things. Let's take ourselves nice and close to our chair, have that uh, block within reaching distance, scoot ourselves close, bring our legs up onto the chair, or, if you need support for your legs today, bringing yourself, scooting yourself against a wall and putting your legs up on the wall. Let's go ahead and take that block or those stiff pillows, whatever you've got, and let's place that underneath the sacrum, right underneath that low back, preparing ourselves for our inversion, our legs above our heart. We're gonna have our palms up, shoulders open, and let's go ahead and lift those legs up. Oh yeah. In this nice supported modified shoulder stand and breathe. And you can be in stillness here. You could be pointing and flexing. You can be slowly letting gravity give you a little bit more inner thigh flexibility, letting those legs go out to the side. Whatever works for you here whatever feels best for you, but just enjoying this inversion pose, the legs above the heart, legs above the head, and breathe. And let's slowly release one leg, release the other leg. Good, all right. One more piriformis stretch. We got a lot of them today. Let's take that right ankle to that left thigh. Let's go ahead and press that inner thigh away. And then go ahead and release that. Good, other side. Take our left ankle to our right thigh, press that inner thigh away. And release that, very nice. All right, let's take that block out from underneath us. We can scoot that chair away, grab what you need for final relaxation, and let's do a little bit of that. Let's relax because you deserve it. Let's lengthen through our legs, reach through our arms. If you've got that eye pillow, placing that eye pillow over your face, enjoy the, the heaviness of that eye pillow, the darkness of that eye pillow, E-Y-E -E pillow. Let's reach through our fingers, reach through our legs. Maybe your low back is lifted up as you are reaching, imagining that you're adding an inch or two to your height here. Or you can also imagine somebody's pulling at your wrist or somebody else is pulling at your ankles and you're getting this really long body here. Let's inhale it deeply. And as we exhale, allow ourselves to sink, to settle. Let those feet just fall open. Maybe your arms are open off to the side. Relax that face, relax that jaw, slowing everything down even more. Trying to slow that breath.
Maybe doing a little bit of a check-in with your body. Maybe your muscles feel a little less tense, a little stronger, a little more stretched, a little more strengthened. Relax that forehead and scalp. So relaxing. Let's bend at those knees and tuck that tailbone under. Maybe that little back can press into the floor. Or maybe not, just depending again on your mobility. Let's drop those knees over to one side, taking yourself onto your side. Breathe. And then we'll slowly begin to press ourselves up. Bringing ourselves up into a seated pose. That might mean a simple cross leg, or you might be in a kneeling pose, or you might be seated in your chair or on your couch, whatever feels best for you. But lengthening up through that spine. Let's inhale and sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer and exhale, eyes following our fingers, taking our chin to the chest. Go ahead and lift that head center. Take our fingers to forehead. As we leave today, let us think thoughts of truth. Take our fingers to our lips. As we leave today, let us speak words of love. Take our hands to our hearts. As we leave today, let our lives be a light of truth and a light of love, having hearts of compassion and mercy, knowing that we have not been given the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love and a sound and peaceful mind. Inhaling deeply and a cleansing exhale. Let's do one more breath like that. Big, deep inhale. And big cleansing exhale. And thank you for joining me for the practice today. And have a blessed rest of your day. I'll see you next time.